Welcome to Inner Treasures 108. And as promised, I am posting today the Diamond Necklace Meditation. That's what I call it. The actual name of the meditation is End Your Karma and Connect with the Endless Circle of Infinite Prosperity. I uh, am a yoga teacher and I have taught this to my classes and I mentioned on the last post um, that I made, inter Interstellar number two, that I would post this. And I told the story, so I'm just going to give that again for in case you didn't um, watch Interstellar number two. Several years ago, at least 10 if not more years ago, um, I was going through my meditations and I found one that I had never seen before or done before, and it was this end your karma and connect with the cycle or the circle of infinite prosperity. It's from the book, The End of Karma. Anyway, I looked at it and I thought, hum, I've never done this. I'm going to give it a try. And most yogis, at least kundalini yogis, will choose a meditation to do for 40 days as a 40-day practice. So that's what I decided to do. I started doing it, and I did it for five days. And on the sixth day, I had to go to a charity uh, a charity event, the kind that they have um, live auctions, silent auctions, and raffles. And my husband went before me. Unbeknownst to me, he bought a raffle ticket. I didn't get there until they started eating dinner, so I had no time to do the silent auction or know what was going on with any of this other stuff. And um, uh, I was eating, and all of a sudden they said, hey, it's time for the raffle. Again, I didn't know he had bought one raffle ticket, and he put it in my name. And they called my name, and I was quite shocked. It was for a $2,500 diamond necklace, white gold diamond necklace. Blew me away. So I have that here for you to see. It's, it's a little difficult for you guys to see. I'll post pictures of this on my website, innertreasures108.com, and I'll uh, post pictures of it on my uh, Facebook page, Inner Treasures 108. But it's this little... Um, ring of white gold with little bitty diamonds set in it and then another diamond um, within the circle. What I didn't say on the interstellar number two post is during the live auction someone that we know that was a custom jeweler had made a piece and it was being auctioned off for this um, this charity and no one was bidding on it. And I was like looking at my husband. My husband was looking at me, and I said, can I bid on this? And he said, yeah. So I bid on it. I was the first bidder, the only bidder. I don't remember how much I bid. I don't know what the bid was. It was so long ago. But I got another beautiful necklace, and here it is. And you really can't see this either. Um, I'll post a picture of it on my Facebook page and my website. Again, both of them are Inner Treasures 108. One is .com and one is Facebook. Inner Treasures 108. So it's quite beautiful, um, lovely, lovely necklace. So I like doubled down um, on necklace prosperity that night. Anyway, it's a great meditation. It has a mantra and a mudra and an eye position. So the mantra is Hari 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 Har. And Har, H A R, and Hari, H A R I, are variations of the same sound. Um, the seed sound, Har. Har, meaning basically the creative aspect of the universe or the creative aspect of God, if you will. The mudra is left hand on the bottom, 
right hand on top, right about at diaphragm level. I'm holding it a little bit higher so you guys can see it. And thumbs touching. The, mood, the, the eye position is your eyes are closed and they're rolled in and up to this third eye point. I'm having trouble figuring out how to deal with this, <laughs> this um, camera business because everything is, is opposite. So eyes closed, rolled in and up to the third eye point. The mudra is the left hand on the bottom palm facing up, right hand on top palm facing up, thumbs touching. Again, the mantra is six hadis and a hod. It should take about 10 seconds to do all six hadis, and then the hod is held for 10 seconds. I'm just going to approximate here. Unfortunately, I don't know of any music that goes with this, so you're going to have to listen to my voice. We're not going to do it for very long, maybe three minutes, so I'm just going to set my timer um, or uh, my stopwatch for three minutes, and I'll be kind of glancing down at the stopwatch. Actually, I'll just do the timer. All right, so you should be sitting with a straight spine. You can sit like I am on the floor or you can sit in a chair as long as your spine is straight. My feeling about meditation if it's not is if it's not comfortable, you're not going to do it. So do what works for you. Um, in my classes, I tell people, if you're not used to meditating and you don't have access to a chair, maybe you sit against the wall or take a bolster and put it up behind your back and sit against the wall and maybe on a blanket or a pillow and that makes it like you're sitting on a sofa. If I'm doing a really long meditation, I'm going to be sitting on a chair or a sofa with my legs crossed um, or feet on the floor. You've got to be comfortable. Don't get caught up, especially at first, in the shoulds. Um, the, what's more important is doing it. Um, so we're going to do this for three minutes. The eyes are closed, rolled in and up to the third eye point. Left hand on bottom, right hand on top, thumbs touching right at the diaphragm. And we'll take a big inhale. Hadi, 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 ha. 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 Hari 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 ha 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 Hari 
Hari Hari Hari Hari Hari Hari Hari. 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 Inhale. Hold the breath. Exhale. Inhale, hold the breath. And exhale. Did we do that three times? I think we did. Um, on the first time that you hold your breath, feel like you're totally complete in your own being. You already have everything you need. You simply need to accept it. As you exhale, feel this energy permeate every cell in your body. The second time you inhale, inhale knowledge, wisdom, and healing. And as you exhale, release all your pain, anxiety, stress, and suffering back to the universe. And as you inhale the final time, tighten up the base of your spine. So you're squeezing and lifting your pelvic muscles. If you're a yogi, you may know this movement as um, mool bond. So you're inhaling, pulling all the energy up, tightening and lifting the muscles of the pelvic floor. These are the muscles you would use to, go to keep yourself from going to the bathroom if you were on a long car trip. Um, and then as you exhale out this last time, just relax. Again, this is called the end your karma and connect with the endless circle of infinite prosperity. I call it the diamond necklace meditation. Posting it, website and Facebook. Um, the directions stay, say start at 11 minutes and work your way up to 31 minutes. I say start where you can start. If 11 minutes seems impossible to do, start with three minutes. That's what we did here. And then work your way up. You will get benefit from even three minutes. Try it out. Let me know. Comment on my Facebook page if you, if you uh, see some results. Keep an open mind. Sometimes prosperity, sometimes abundance isn't a, a diamond necklace for $25 or, um, you know, a $100,000 raise. Sometimes it's having this flow, this continuous flow that the universe provides. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try it. Let me know if you do. Until next time.